Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable Steam input. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab and over here, select disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can even try enable Steam input. So if the disable does not work, you can even enable steam input and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so for this you can go to steam at the top right here you can see a big picture mode icon which says enter big picture mode so click on enter big picture mode icon now once steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to playstation controller user use ds4 windows now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can if you don't have ds4 you can install it from go to ds4 windows website and you can install it and then you can configure it and then you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to close the game update the controller using PlayStation Accessories app or Xbox Accessories app. Now for this, if you have Xbox controller, in that case, you can go to Microsoft Store. Now once you open Microsoft Store, now at the top you can search for Xbox Accessories app. So over here in the search box, you can type in Xbox Accessories and then you can find Xbox Accessories app and once Xbox Accessories app is installed, if not installed, install it and then you can launch Xbox Accessories app and then you can connect your controller using the USB cable. So make sure that you connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you three dots will be highlighted. So click on this three dot and then you will see an option update now. So click on update now, continue and let the update complete. This process will take some time and once the update is complete then you can launch the game once again and then check. Now for PlayStation user you can install this PlayStation Accessories app. Now for this you can go to Google. In Google you can go to PlayStation Accessories app website. This is PlayStation website so go to PlayStation website. Now once you go to PlayStation website now you can install this download this download for windows click on download for windows and install playstation accessories app so once uh, download is complete you can run this exe file and once you run this exe file in my case i have already installed so you can launch playstation accessories app now once you launch it now you can connect your controller now once controller is uh, if it is not up to date you will see update option in my case it is already up to date so if you see update option update your controller and then you can launch the game once again and then check now still not working uh, the next step is to disconnect all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller so sometimes we have a usb dongle of the controller connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vzoi you can uninstall it restart the computer and then launch the game the last step is to use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check the controller. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.